Oil changes seem like the ultimate engine protection, right? Drain the old junk, pour in fresh stuff. Done. Engine safe for thousands of miles. But here's the shocker. On modern engines, oil changes don't protect like they used to. You can nail every interval perfectly, use the best oil money can buy, and still be grinding your engine down with every single drive. So before your next oil change turns into a false sense of security and a massive repair bill, watch closely. Here are five hidden traps that make oil changes almost useless on modern engines and the quick fixes to actually save your motor. Trap number five, the built like a tank lie. You pop the hood on a brand new car. Everything looks tight, compact, precision machined. You close it up, change the oil on schedule, and figure you're set for 200,000 miles. Here's the problem. That engine isn't built like your dad's old truck, and treating it the same way is what kills it. Back then, engines were forgiving. Loose tolerances, thick bearings, big oil passages. Oil sat in there like a heavy blanket, covering everything. Dirty oil? Engine barely cared. A little fuel dilution? No panic. Missed an oil change? It kept running anyway. Oil had one simple job. Lubricate parts. Cool things down. Carry away heat and junk. No precision systems depending on it. No pressure-sensitive components. Modern engines? Completely different animal. Here's what's really happening. Everything is tightened for efficiency. Clearances shaved razor thin. Bearings narrower. Oil passages smaller and more complex. Piston rings paper thin to cut friction. Now oil isn't just lubrication. It runs the engine. It pressurizes timing chain tensioners, controls variable valve timing actuators, spins turbo bearings at 200,000 revolutions per minute, moves hydraulic lifters, survives direct injection fuel wash. That means one small mistake matters. Dirty oil, film breaks instantly. Fuel dilution, protection disappears. Cold start with thin oil, metal scrapes metal before pressure builds. Damage starts fast, bearings score early, chains stretch, turbos whine, then fail. No warning lights, no smoke, no noise. Just wear stacking up every single drive. The fix is simple, except the new reality. Check the owner's manual and run the exact low viscosity oil it calls for. No substitutes. And if you drive a turbo or direct injection engine, shorten your oil interval by at least 1,000 miles starting now. Modern engines don't tolerate close enough. Stop treating them like old tanks. They aren't built to survive mistakes anymore. And if you think tighter parts are the only change, wait until you hear the next trap. It attacks your oil even faster. And most drivers trigger it every single day. Trap number four, the fuel and oil dilution disaster. You pull the dipstick a few weeks after an oil change. The oil looks darker than it should. You sniff it and catch a faint whiff of gasoline. That's not normal. That's fuel mixing into your oil, and it's already doing damage. Here's how it happens. Short trips never fully heat the oil, so fuel and moisture stay trapped inside. That dilution thins the oil, kills the additives, and weakens the protective film. On cold starts, pressure builds slower and metal starts scraping before protection is there. Result? Bearings run dry, pistons scuff, turbo bearings starve on startup, timing chains wear faster, all invisible. A little more damage every single trip to the store or school drop-off. Your fresh oil change? Barely buys time. Degradation wins fast. Engine ages years and months. The fix is simple. Know your driving pattern today. Most trips under 20 minutes? Cut the factory interval in half right now. Mark your calendar shorter. Combine errands when you can. Let the engine hit full temp at least once a week. Check the dipstick monthly for milky look or gas smell. Catch it early. And if you're finding these tips helpful, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the bell icon. We drop truth bombs about car care every week, so your engine doesn't get destroyed by the stuff no one warns you about. But that's not the worst of it. The next trap hides inside your engine, and changing oil more often won't even touch it. Trap number three, the PCV ventilation failure. You're topping off oil more often than you used to. Then you spot it, oily gunk building up around the valve cover gasket, a greasy film coating the breather hose. Maybe a faint burning smell when you park after a drive. Here's the harsh truth. Most of the time you're just chasing the symptom. The real killer is hiding in the engine. Here's what's really happening. That PCV system is supposed to pull fuel vapors, moisture, and blow by gases out of the crankcase. When it clogs or fails, all that junk stays trapped. Pressure builds inside. Oil gets forced past gaskets and seals. That's why you're seeing the mess under the hood. Acids attack the oil. Moisture builds fuel keeps thinning it out. Your oil turns weak fast, protection drops, wear speeds up, fresh oil change? Sure, it cleans things up for a moment. 
Then it gets dumped right back into the same broken system. Chemical breakdown starts again almost immediately. The result is ugly. Sludge coats internal parts. Bearings starve. Chains wear unevenly. Oil consumption climbs until you're adding a quart every thousand miles. No matter how religious you are with oil changes, damage keeps stacking up. You're burning money while the engine cooks itself from the inside. The fix is simple. Watch the signs. Topping off more than usual? Oily residue creeping around gaskets or hoses? Get the PCV system checked right away. It's usually a cheap fix. Ignore it and it destroys your engine no matter how often you change that oil. And even if ventilation is perfect, the next trap fools drivers who think they're doing everything right. It's written right there on the dash and it's lying to you. Trap number two, the 10,000 mile interval trap. You see 8,000 or 10,000 miles on the dash monitor. Manufacturer said it was safe. Sounds convenient. Modern oil is better, right? Here's the cold truth. Those long intervals only work in a perfect world, and most of us don't live there. Here's what's really happening. Factory numbers assume ideal conditions. Long highway cruises. Engine hits full temp fast. Stays hot for hours. Minimal idling, clean fuel, gentle driving. Reality for most drivers? Nothing like that. Short commutes, traffic jams, school runs, grocery stops. Cold starts every morning, stop and go all week. In real life, oil degradation builds fast. Fuel dilution from direct injection, moisture from short trips, dirt and acids hanging around. With extended intervals, that dirty oil stays in the engine way longer. Additives get used up early. Protective film thins out. Bearings start scoring bit by bit. Piston rings wear down. Timing chains stretch. Turbo shafts run hotter. Lifters get sticky. No drama at first. Maybe fuel economy dips a little. Idle feels rougher. You barely notice. But the damage stacks up. Thousands of miles of hidden wear. And the day arrives. Chain slips. Bearings spin. Or sludge clogs a passage. Big repair bill hits you out of nowhere. You followed the book exactly. And still killed the engine. The fix is simple. Face your driving pattern today. Mostly city or short trips. Ignore the long interval. Change oil at 5,000 miles max. Or even sooner. Start tracking real miles between changes right now. Use a cheap notebook or phone app, your engine will last way longer. And with that, we come to our number one trap, the one that makes even perfect oil changes feel pointless in modern engines. Trap number one, the zero margin engine nightmare. Right oil, right filter, no skips, feels bulletproof. You're being the perfect owner. Here's the brutal wake up. In modern engines, that's no longer enough, not even close. Oil changes are still non-negotiable. Skip them and you're toast but fresh oil only protects when everything around it works perfectly. Here's what's really happening. Modern engines run at zero margin. Tight tolerances everywhere. Turbos screaming. Direct injection pushing fuel hard. Variable timing shifting constantly. Hydraulic tensioners relying on oil pressure every second. One small imbalance and it's over. Slight restriction in airflow. Minor pressure fluctuation. A few too many cold starts. Fuel sneaking past rings. Oil film breaks instantly. Bearings scrape. Chains stretch. Lifters collapse. Turbo shaft score, damage spreads fast. And then, one morning it happens. You start the engine and hear a rattle that wasn't there yesterday. Timing chain stretched past its limit. Or worse, the turbo screams, then goes dead. Blue smoke pours out the exhaust. That's oil burning where it shouldn't. Engine's done, all while your service records look perfect. The fix is simple. Change your mindset right now. Oil changes are step one, not the whole plan. Monitor consumption monthly. Watch for rough idle or dips in power. Fix small warnings fast. Minimize short trips when you can. Treat the whole system, not just the oil. And there you have it, five hidden traps that make oil changes almost useless on modern engines. And the quick fixes to actually protect your motor. If this opened your eyes to what's really wearing down your engine, don't stop here. And for more ways to stop killing your engine without realizing it, click here for our next video on the hidden maintenance mistakes, oil myths, and pro tips mechanics don't always share. Thanks for watching. Fix those traps today and keep that engine alive. See you in the next one.